Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about this. This is the Pro Groom Dog Shampoo uh, by Pro Groom. So a little bit of background on Watson. My Watson is an Australian Labradoodle and he has quite severe allergies. We've tried him on immunotherapy etc, it didn't work. It's now managed with a daily Apoquil pill and then he's also on Pyroton as and when needed. Even despite getting all of that, he still rubs his face against things to try and get it to itch, he tries to gnaw his paws sometimes, he rolls on his back, he tries to bite his bum, he's still got a lot of itching going on. You guys know that I love the Groom, groom Professional Baby Shampoo and it's always worked very well as in it's not um, irritating to him. But I did always have um, a slight reservation at the fact I was using a scented shampoo on him um, with, with quite a strong scent and also that it wasn't, it didn't have any oatmeal in it and I was thinking about switching to some kind of oatmeal shampoo. At about this time, very, very timely, I was approached by Pro Groom and told about this shampoo, which they sent to me. Um, and this has an advanced oatmeal formulation in it and it is natural, it's organic. And so I was more than happy to try it. So I said, you know, I'll give it a try and see what I think. Before even discussing what I thought of the product or even receiving the product, I discussed with the person that contacted me my two concerns. So my two concerns were one, that this was a non-diluting shampoo. It says on it, you don't need to dilute it and that's unusual for dog shampoos and so I was worried that it would be too rich um, and could irritate the skin actually from that. My second concern was that there was a long list of uh, fragrances but they are all natural organic um, essential oil fragrances. You guys however if you follow me on my beauty channel know how I feel about that and and that there are some irritating fragrances among essential oils. I can't tell you how impressed I was at the response I got because it was a very long explanatory email. They had used an expert in essential oils, that the, the levels were a particular level and that the primary um, point of this shampoo was to have a natural and organic shampoo that was effective. Um, and that they had started this company because they were finding natural and organic dog shampoos that just weren't effective. Um, and they only seemed to be the other choice of chemical based shampoos that had, you know, sulfates, etc., in there. And that's not what they wanted to use. The other great thing is the website is really nice. It's really nice and simple and well laid out. But what I love is that it's very, very open and the ingredients are right there for you to see. And I think that's wonderful when a company does that, when they don't hide every single thing they've done along the way. Um, and so listing the ingredients, there's some wonderful things in this. It's got vitamin B5 and E. Both of those are um, soothing vitamins. So it's panthenol is B5 and then vitamin E is known to be a soothing um, vitamin for skin. It has aloe vera in it. It has colloidal oatmeal, which is supposed to be very soothing for all types of skin. So I'm really was excited about the ingredients, but even still worried that it would be an overwhelming scent of essential oil. So I received this and was immediately impressed with the bottle because it's got a pump on it. And that is just beyond useful for shampoos for dogs because you have enough trying to get them to stay still, to not turn away, you know, that you could do with hands free, which is what this is. You can just pump it into your hand, you know, with one hand. It's brilliant. Love that it has a pump on it. Um, I had a smell of it as well. The first thing I did was open it and I thought if this is an overwhelming, highly fragrant scent, then I wouldn't like it. And it's got a very, very faint, essential oil smell but it's not overwhelming at all because if it's too strong then the dog's not going to enjoy the experience either um, and so I then had to wait until Watson was due for his weekly wash because he gets a weekly wash because of his allergies it does foam up which I like because I know that it's potentially better for you to have no foam at all but most of us like to have a little bit of foam to know that we really are cleaning um, and so it's got a little bit of foam but what I noticed about that was as I was rinsing it out there wasn't, there was no foam around the plug hole. Um, I think I might have even shown that in my filming because I was amazed at that and that actually made things much easier in terms of washing because when I use the, um, the Grim Professional one, it takes a long, long time to rinse out and when I have rinsed it out, there is a, probably a square like that of foam around the plug hole and so it means that sometimes Watson walks back into it and then I've got to rinse that bit of him again but there was nothing left. It was so easy to rinse out. I would say it took me a third of the time to rinse this out versus the Groom Professional one. So that was another big plus for it because you know Watson doesn't enjoy being bathed. You'll probably see from my footage that he doesn't look the happiest 
Um, he's so good, he doesn't try to escape, but he doesn't love it and he, it, the less time that he's in there, the better. So, you know, and also for me, with my back bending over him, the less time I have to spend, the better. And it's at the rinsing out stage that I start to feel pain. So the fact that it was quickly rinsed out was just perfect for me. You see that it didn't need to be diluted. It was one that was easily um, spread over the body, you know, but it wasn't, it didn't feel too rich that it would be too concentrated to put onto his fur. So I was really happy with the whole experience. There wasn't, like I said, a strong scent or anything. It rinsed out well. Um, and I thought rather than my usual way of putting a conditioner on, I'll leave nothing on and see how his fur is when it dries. And I have a serum I can put on his coat. Um, I know that not all dogs will put conditioner on, not all dog owners will use conditioner, but for Watson, he's got such a thick, um, poodly type coat in areas that it does need conditioner sometimes to brush through but I thought let me see what this does on its own um, because it's got those lovely vitamin E and you know things in it that will moisturize the skin and the fur so I dried him as usual and that was absolutely fine and then he was dry probably it takes what's an hours to dry but I, I think he was dry a little bit quicker and I know that that can be down to what products you use because certainly for me, my hair dries quicker if I use lighter products. And so I do think he dried a little bit quicker because normally when he would, um, his body would be dry and his ears would be sopping wet still, even though I dried them, but actually all of him was dry. Um, and so I think that is to do with this being a lighter shampoo. So it will probably help them dry quicker. And I then brushed through his fur later on and it feels lovely and soft. I am going to still put serum in. I do that to avoid, you know, mats and tangles, etc. But his, his fur is lovely and soft. And not only did I notice that, I this morning I heard my husband getting up and taking Watson out and he said, oh, your fur's lovely and soft. And I think that's because I brushed him yesterday and I, I used this shampoo the day before that. So it was two days ago now. So thoroughly impressed with everything about it. The only other thing I was interested in was to see if it made any difference to his itching um, because although we're on top of it with, um, or we're on top of it to a point with the Pyroton and the Apoquel that he's on, he still does, like I said, itch his face. He does gnaw his paws. Um, and at that point we give him a Pyroton. Um, what we've noticed over the last couple of days is he hasn't been itching his face. Um, he hasn't been trying to rub that up. Like normally first thing in the morning, he'll jump on top of me because he knows I'll scratch his face for him or he'll try and rub up against a door or something. And he hasn't been doing that over the last two days. I did use Watson's anti-yeast shampoo as always we have to use that once a week and I used that on his paws and on his behind um, but what we did notice is over the last two days he has had only two Pyroton a day as opposed to three um, and actually on the day he gets washed which was not yesterday the day before he normally has an extra Pyroton um, because well we're told that the the um, Malisib shampoo that we use brings out the yeast um, but he didn't need an extra one so that's really quite different that's really quite unusual for him so um, at the moment the only thing we've changed is this and in fact the heating has been on quite high because I'm washing Watson's beds because I have to wash them a lot to to do with his allergies um, and like I said normally when he gets washed he does seem to be more itchy um, for the first day and then it dies down again um, and so I think that this may have had an effect I can see the oatmeal being very soothing on his skin this is currently being sold on Amazon they do have their own website but it links you to um, their Amazon site there are three five star reviews on Amazon so that's great to know um, and it's £13.97 now I actually have a voucher for you they've kindly given us a 20% off coupon so I will put the details of that in the description for you so you can use that on Amazon um, which makes that a really good price so if you have a dog that has any kind of allergies particularly I know white dogs suffer with sensitive skin don't they I think that this would be a great one to try so if you have any questions at all about this leave them in the comments and either myself or Philip will answer them um, Philip from Pro, Pro Groom and that's everything let me know what you think if you use it and I will speak to you again soon